Yikes, uh -oh. dude. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. All, right. All right. Wait, I can't hear myself. Oh, no. We'll turn up the volume. To hey, the volume's up. Crank it up to 11, baby. It's at... What is it at? Like eight or well, nine? Well, don't worry, sweetheart. We'll get it in post. Okay. Yeah, folks, yeah, yeah. headphones are plugged <laughs> in. Welcome to the everybody. Can't we hear. Were, we were in Studio B again because we got bumped by Chip Chip person. It, I don't even care about that. I, I, I'm a big fan of um, uh, oh, who, that guy. I love Chip Chip person, but I hate Jim Norton. I can't. I just can't figure. Where, oh, there we go. Okay. Thank God. Who's going to be the quiet boys? That would have been a problem. Yeah, yeah now absolutely. I can. Now I can blow my own eardrums out. <laughs> Yeah. With how loud yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. We got a great guest here today. Ryan Long is here, everybody. Woo! We brought, Hell him, yeah. we brought him on to get to the bottom of what's going on with the left. We got a. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I think. <laughs> dude, Robbie, the best part about Robbie is every time he says anything to anyone, like Loki apologizes after. <laughs> yeah. he, he'll be at a bar and he'll be like, dude, you know I fucking love you, dude. I shit everyone your shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then Robbie gets on mic. He's like, you're fucking gay. I think. Well, I, think I just happy that you brought one white cloth for the four of us to split. Yeah. Well, that's all we need. There's another one in the fridge yeah. if you want it. There's some beer in there, too. That's not mine, but go ahead and take it. I can write anything you want, man. Yeah. After. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. What's Lewis's is yours, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. That's the rules here at Gas Digital. What's Lewis's is yours, yeah. including His Jane. son. Yeah. Yeah. In terms yeah. of the visitation rights, we all know he's a communist at heart. Yeah, yeah. Lew Lewis J. Communist. Lewis yeah, J. dude. That's why there's a sickle with the Gas Digital symbol and everything. Yeah, yeah. It's all socialism, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that shit. Yeah, me too, man. I love, I love getting things without having to work for it yeah and having like it's like nice try suckers i'm a socialist so i can just <laughs> fucking kick back and have people do things for me without having to contribute to society at all yeah dude. that I, sounds cool when i, I get love a, it dude so when i get a bill rocks. yeah when i get a sounds like a relationship comrade my fucking ex-wife <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Woo! How you doing, Ryan? What's up? We're chilling, buddy. You know what yeah. I had? Uh, I was just filming today in Times Square, and I haven't had this since I moved. I moved to New York. Was the the guys selling the CDs? Oh like, yeah, yeah. But he came up and he goes, "I was with Johnny," and he comes up. He's like. Oh, uh, you! Know, they put the CDs in their hands or whatever. And we go, we go, we go. I go. No, I don't even have a CD player. And he goes, I bet your boyfriend's got one. <laughs> <laughs> and they all, they all start going. You got, you guys are fucking gay. <laughs> Classic. He's got calling us Dude, the N word. Too. They were aggressive with me last night. I, I was in Times Square. And the CDs were, aren't selling. They turned they, up the heat. They weren't even trying. <laughs> yeah, they, they weren't even trying to sell it. They, I was like, I don't need it. And he goes, It's free. And I go, I still don't want it. And I'm like walking towards the train, and I just like feel someone tap on my shoulder. And I go, "What?" And he goes, "CD." I just had it, and I go, "I don't want it." And he goes, "Man, you a fucking loser!" <laughs> they're, they're turned up right now. You're a Spoiler loser. alert: yeah. it's not free. Yeah, that's how they get you, dude. Yeah. Like yeah. nobody's those, taking those are the CDs. last guys still charging for music. Yeah, it's how wild it's is free. that? Yeah, like all a CD. music. <laughs> You're, you literally are better off selling a vinyl. Yeah, mm -hmm. who, yeah. No one buys CDs, and you haven't bought a CD in like 20 years. Where would you put it? Where yeah. on earth would you put My it? Not because ass. of the CD player anymore. <laughs> you have to buy a CD player separately because it's so rare to have. Or you happen to have an old car. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Let's get real, though. CDs are cool. Mm -hmm. Remember p getting blank CDs and going to LimeWire? Dude, I used to burn my own CDs, and I was like, "This is so fucking yeah." I, awesome. did, I felt like I was Neo from the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. I, was like, I was like, "Damn, I'm hacking into the main." What about you fucking lose pile of CDs? You know yeah, those yeah, yeah, the big tower. Yeah, yeah. and you just like <laughs> open it up and take oh, out one CD. Yeah, you're you like, guys probably. Yeah. How, well, you're the oldest. How old are you? Uh, right. Joe's the oldest. I'm, I'm, I'm the oldest. I'm He's forty-two. Oh, you're my age. Yeah, yeah. I used to fucking. Cassette tape in the recorder. Oh yeah, and, and then wait till the song comes on the countdown to get like some <laughs> fucking Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> Half oh, of it yeah. recorded. Yeah, that's how they would want you to record it. Yeah, they would have liked that's it that how, way. Yeah, that's yeah. Rage, yeah. Rage Against the Recording Machine. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, you're saying the radio is a recording machine? Man, I don't know, man. I guess I'm not killing in the name today. <laughs> <laughs> Kill, killing in the name of. Of. Damn, man. Love. Speaking of. What? Uh, what's, what's. Oh, you want to talk about Primus? No, we don't have to. 
Amazon Primus. Amazon Primus. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Is that your guy's Primus? No, he's he saw. Primus I went and saw last him last night. night. You could tell. I'm. Yeah, I bought a lot of merch. Hasn't changed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dalton's a t-shirt guy now. He's like, I gotta support my fellow t-shirts. I sellers. tell you what, man. I was studying the merch last night. I was looking at it. <laughs> it's like me watching Louie. Like you're yeah. in the back of the room watching. Them. I was telling studying people. The craft. Yeah. I talked to a guy. He had a poster, and I go, "How much you pay for that?" And he goes, 80 bucks." And I go, "You're fine paying eighty bucks for a poster." And he goes, yeah, the artwork's good. And I go, good to know. The mm-hmm. artwork's good. Yeah, good dot, to know, dot, my dot. friend. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So the gears are a turn. Yeah, it's mm. like, you know, I'm I'm mostly in uh, clothing sales now. I kind of do comedy on the Wait side. Wait a minute, Dalton. The artwork on the poster. We have Loud Boy's artwork that could possibly transcribe <laughs> into posters. Yeah, don't even worry about that, Joe. Well, I'm certainly not worried about it, but perhaps... Perhaps we could somehow coordinate <laughs> selling a poster. Yeah, I'm already working our, on it. Uh, well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Don't, what is that? What is it? What is it? You're mentioning a poster. You're teasing us. Just tell us you're making a poster. I'm, I'm working on it. Okay. I'd well, like to see go. this black light if, if Ooh, at all possible. That would be a cool black light one. I hope I look like a little elf oh, underneath the black light That's such a good idea. Matters. Man, I love merch. <laughs> Loud Boys and Spencer's gift shop. Yeah. Ryan, do you have merch? <laughs> I got shirts. You I got, got shirts? I haven't turned it into a merch empire like some people. Yeah. yeah. Dude, every... <laughs> Every comic that you're like, how are they so rich? It's because yeah. they are. Go to their site. They're selling yeah, everything you can. Can openers. Oh, yeah. I got it. You think, you think I didn't realize that? Why do <laughs> you think I got so many goddamn shirts and posters yeah. and trinkets? <laughs> I, I got into comedy to tell jokes, and now I just peddle trinkets and yeah. knickknacks. Oh man, I got an idea. We got <laughs> like one of those uh, one of those signs that say. Parking reserved for Loud Boys fans only. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how about the handicap sign, but he's getting sucked off? Yeah. <laughs> how about that? Let's sell that. Oh, yeah, dude. How about how about like merch for you, Ryan? The shoe things that maybe you get you open your shoe off. Yeah. Uh, oh, like a, a shoehorn. Like a, a shirt. Shoe shoe horn. Like yeah. here's two it's, shirts. It's called the Robbie Goodwin shoehorning a pun into a bit. <laughs> ba- ba- <laughs> bands were getting outrageous with what they were selling, but comics are pretty out there. Right? We're like oh Krusty God. the Clown. Yeah. I just bought the Gino Bisconti ball in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, here's a shirt idea for you. You get this two shirts for you. It's two shirts mm. with one has an arrow pointing this way, one has an arrow pointing the other way. And then one shirt says, I'm with the I'm with left, and the other yeah. one says I'm with right. That's the problem with the two shirt videos. Yeah. Is they can't, you can't monetize <laughs> <laughs> One just says racist. Is that, but I, I, you know what I was thinking? It was a fun, like a funny sketch of making me laugh. The idea of a not my president shirt swap for every, so every time the president changes, you get Oh, the, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's clever. How many people switch their bio? Like, so you go, you know, it's a, a you yeah. orchestrate. Yeah. You know what, you know what in Texas, you, you like bring a, f- a big camper van full of shirts to New York and we go, we got you. You know, just someone that says the president <laughs> is a rapist. It'll be ever hey, great. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You know, no matter which one. <laughs> you know what would be fun, like a fun bit that's also like charity work you could do is make a bunch of t-shirts that say mm-hmm. like something about how Donald Trump won the election last year and then give them to like kids in Africa like when a football team loses the Super Bowl. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could just do that. Just as make, like, your, make new merch for to give to Africa. Make new kids. merch to give away. It's really just how funny that would be to be like here's all these Trump shirts but, he lost. Yeah dude you got some guy in fucking Dubai walking around the slums with a <laughs> stop the steal shirt. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Trump community. laughs> yeah you, you, get, you send stop the steal shirts to Africa for all the people without clothes. <laughs> just like an Arab guy wearing a Dukakis is gay shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be better than a guy with no hands yeah. wearing a Stop the Steal shirt. Yeah. You know, that would be funny is to introduce... <laughs> they really... They, they took Stop the Steal very seriously. Stop, they, stop the Steal, it's not halal. It would be funny to introduce, like, American politics to a country like Africa be, by way of ironic t-shirts. Mm-hmm. And so then they develop their own, like, uh, uh, style of comedy that's just, like... Dennis Leary shit, but it's Africans, and they're like, <laughs> so they're still talking about this Bush guy. I do not understand this pumpkin spice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Get that black well, cup of coffee. If you want to do that, we have to give them leather jackets. Yeah, we <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we them... send leather jackets to Africa, <laughs> yes. and they all become tell it like it is. Comedians. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 all right, we're gonna send a bunch of leather jackets and stools to Africa. <laughs> yeah. let, let me tell you something about the Federal Reserve. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it reserved for? A bunch of nobodies. You can't you can't just keep 
taxation is theft. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, African Dave Smith, yeah. everybody. Adabuntu <laughs> <laughs> Smith. Adabuntu <laughs> Smith. I hate the Fed. Nah. All right. <laughs> Damn, I threw up last night. Oh no. <laughs> Were you? Are you pregnant? No, I overdid that it. That bad, huh? What? The concert. <laughs> 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 Wait, I, I have one more t-shirt idea for Ryan. Uh, yeah, go says, ahead. Me love Ryan long time. <laughs> That's actually pretty fucking I kinda good. Love it. <laughs> hey, Ryan. I kind of love that. Ryan. 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 Saying, I love you long yeah. time. I kinda, <laughs> Ryan, I gotta be honest with you. I'm starting Pretty a merch. Great. I'm starting a merch empire. If you want me to make that shirt, I can. I can make that. Happen. We might yeah. put this yeah. into production. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It would, like it would say idea. "Loud Boys Presents." Ryan, like, like, yeah. Loud yeah. Boys Presents. Yeah. 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 Me love Ryan long time. <laughs> it has two arrows and it says "Loud Boys." Loud, yeah, I'm with Loud Boys. Me love Ryan long time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, shit, I'm getting hot. I'm gonna take off my sweater. Yeah. Yeah. What's nice, underneath? Dude. Your mom. If it was uh, me, love Ryan Long, time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the reveal of the century. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't they be a great shirt? And Ryan, I got it. Right <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, you guys have been playing in this bit. Do you remember when the sh the the like shirt gag comics were pretty hot? Oh, oh yeah, God, that was an I era. Started, you know what? Ryan, though? Ryan, you know what though? I will dude. be selling these after oh, the yeah, show. I yeah. always plug it. Like, like, I know a guy, and he would. And they'd always be like the old fables of like, dude, he sold three grand one weekend. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I start I started with guys like that who were big into like plugging gags. plugging their shirts during their set. And there seen, was a, there was a guy yeah. back home, uh, this guy Tyson, who he had a shirt that said hashtag titties. Yeah, and he did some bit about how his <laughs> his Latina maid, his Latina nanny or something, would breastfeed him when he was a kid. Hell yeah! Well, they write and the so, bits after, right, right, right. So that's oh, and yeah. so then the oh, reveal. That? It's a reverse engineer type. The, oh, yeah. yeah, the reveal of the hashtag titty shirt is he lifts it up, and on the underside of the shirt are two are two titties. That's fine. I yeah. like it. <laughs> I'm horny just hearing about it, dude. Yeah. I'd love to see the visual. Also, it's, this goes Jeff Applebaum's hashtag hash browns bit. No, mm. comics always they they always do the bit, but some of the companies like I don't know if you know this, but Adidas was based on the song. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. The corn song. <laughs> yeah. 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 They said, "Do you guys have merch for that?" Yeah, <laughs> for guys who dream about sex. Yeah, um, um, whipped cream is based on the Wu Tang song. That's actually true. <laughs> That's yeah. true. That is yeah. also... Re ready whip. Yeah, yeah. Cream. Um, cows rule everything around me. Yeah, yeah. Bad guys were based on the Billie Eilish song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before that, it was all good guys. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about Billie Eilish. What's going on with them titties? They're nice, dude. They're looking good these days. <laughs> Ryan... isn't, it, isn't it crazy? Like, you know, she was like born in like, what? Like 2000 and, and what, two? Yeah, she said and she like, didn't know who fucking Van Halen that's was. That's crazy, right? And now like she's being like sexualized. Mm -hmm. like, she's just year, trying to be cool. Yeah. Halen? Isn't that like the year I lost my virginity was the year she was... She that's was uh, like the same way I'm like, I don't know. Oh, that's gay a bad porn picture. stars, dude. I've never heard of them. Those I don't even big. know who they are. Yikes. Oh, yeah, dude. It's go. like she has like a uh, perfect like body for like my wife. Who makes you, you horny? You think this girl's hot? Oh. Like for you guys, this is a hot commodity? This is like a... These are bad pictures. You even look at her. Ryan Long, who do you find attractive? You guys get together and you go, let's not aim. She, she, looks like a, she looks like she looks like a chick. Under that. She that looks like a chick good. I would have had a crush on in high school yeah, for sure. It's not bad. Well, right. yeah, because but like she would have been like crazy out of your like, league in high school. She's out of my league now. Yeah. Well, well not, I don't know, dude. There's like always like you could be like a producer. She's out of your little league. She's a fucking child, Dalton. No, she's 18. Yeah, I'm 28, 19, dude. I'm 19. out. What? You're out. <laughs> it's like half your age plus seven is like. Uh, I have yeah. it. It's a uh, yeah half the. It's age. actually smash just... the calculator and fuck this girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've always heard. <laughs> we gotta get a guitar sound. Right? Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 Robbie. Yeah. Don't. I'm also working on a soundboard. Don't, you've got a lot of irons in the. You guys seem <laughs> like a soundboard podcast. We, we're a morning <laughs> zoo show. I've accepted. <laughs> Ryan, I've accepted my name. fate. Welcome back to. Dude, you yeah. want to know what? You want to well, know what? Welcome back to the loud boy. We got here, Ryan Long. The maniac. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to know what happened to me the other night? I was uh, I was talking to Chris Italia at the stand, and I. I don't Whoa, remember. name drop. Ooh. Well. I, uh, cr cr what do I say? The I was talking to one of the owners of the stand. Ooh, what was his I name? was talking to a guy. Oh, gay. 
Oh no, it was Chris, and he's mm -hmm. got a big lawsuit pending on Seth Simon's oh, account. Man. Oh no, <laughs> dude. So enemy funny. of the show, Seth Simon. Isn't dude. that great? That Seth. Yeah. I've I've not declared him my enemy because I feel like Good it's stealing you, other people's arch enemy. Yes. Yeah. You know, what, you know it's yeah. too many people's nemesis. I'm actually, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like if you guys were all like Billie Eilish, and you're like Ryan, who do you like? I'm like also Billie Eilish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have been saying that before you guys even. Yeah. No, he, I was talking to him. It's yeah. like if the Green Lantern was like, I hate the Joker too, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was uh, I was talking to Chris. I don't even remember what we were talking about, but at one point he just goes, You do stand up? And I go, Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, Oh, I thought you were a podcaster. And I go, I just felt defeated. I was like, Yeah, we're all also even... podcasters. Yeah. No, so nobody, yeah. But nobody makes it big through stand up anymore. Yeah, it's, it's all impossible. through like, it's morning zoo podcasts yeah. and shirts yeah. and trinkets and knickknacks. And you only have two Humble YouTube dolls. videos of you Chip, doing stand up. <laughs> I want to. We should make uh, like Russian nesting dolls. It's it, like uh, me, and you open it up, and then it's Robbie. You open that up, and then it's Joe. Mm -hmm. You open that up, and then it's um, Rufy. A fat chick. All of your cum. Yeah. All of our cum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we come into the uh, the last doll. We come in pieces. <laughs> yeah. So you know, a lot of ideas here. Look, I don't want to. <laughs> who, who's the last comic to make it from just stand up? It's been a long time. It, uh, I don't even worry about it no more, dude. There's, I'm just, Sebastian Maniscalco. It's elbow like grease. That. That's all actually a good because like he also that's like a good was pull. working it for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And but it's a combo, yeah. and it pays off when he's like, "My mom's Italian cooking is delicious." It is good. Yeah. The first audience I like started to build was all from stand up clips going viral on oh. TikTok. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess people make it through TikTok, but yeah. I just don't know anyone who got famous. But who you need to transfer it over is the hard part. Oh, yeah. from I mean, dude, have you ever tried to transfer like your Twitter follow? to go watch something on YouTube. I have. It's, yeah. it's impossible. Yeah, no, it's dude, the people that like, fuck I, you. I've been really trying to wrap my head around the internet. It's a whole new... <laughs> <laughs> and it's over. Crypto internet. I got, new internet. I got one You're going to figure it out right when it's over. You're telling me there's stuff in the computer? <laughs> I mean, for real, dude. What is... Let me ask you a question. Yeah. What is the internet? It is a way to look up uh, videos of 17-year-olds going to the bathroom. Case closed. <laughs> <laughs> it is where I mainframe my P cams. Yeah. <laughs> I just mean it. it, it. I don't know. We, we're gonna turn into Rogan. Yeah, that's why. Dude, you're, fo it. you're folksy Rogan. What, right? is yeah. what is a cloud? Honestly, is <laughs> that's crazy, man. So DMT that's in your brain the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just turned into Old West Rogan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I'm just a, a wanderer here on this plane of existence. Yeah, mm. just a, a dusty old traveler mm -hmm. popping into the cosmic saloon. Mm -hmm. for, mm. Drink of knowledge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I have uh, some, some knowledge for a speck of dust, please? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Rogan's ever ordered uh, <laughs> knowledge at the bar. <laughs> you know? He goes, uh, uh, how much is, it? yeah, what's admission for a speck of dust? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love Rogan. I like that he does that, though. You know? That is fun to, like, d d zoom out sometimes, you know? Like, it's crazy, like, Hitler did all that, you know? Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Robbie. Let's talk. Let's really. Get, yeah. What, what, I mean, that's that like, was wild. This was his Gary V speech. He was like, "You can accomplish anything." Sort of. <laughs> yeah. All you need is amphetamines. He can get a lot done. Dude, I gotta admit, it's fucking wild what Hitler did. Yeah. I Why? mean, when you really think about it, I know it's crazy. Four thousand Jews. <laughs> I know. I can't believe two thousand Jews died. I can't died. believe. <laughs> 1,500 Jews died in the Holocaust. I can't believe I mean, a Jewish just... guy was late to work in Germany. <laughs> 5 million actually... Jews? What'd you kill 4 million Jews for? <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is actually a coward hour bit they did. Oh, is it? Chew down the Holocaust. Oh, chew yeah. down the Holocaust. Uh, <laughs> that's so... God damn it. Well, uh -oh. Nick, Nick, we love you. Yeah, yeah. Barn dog, I hope you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yikes. R.I.P., man. To the Jews or to everything, oh, man. Yeah. yeah, I guess we're we're living in a dying world. It is, man. Well, we start dying the moment we're born. Ooh. It is funny how <laughs> everything about that. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, oh. so what is living but dying? Oh, hey, oh, oh what's living but dying on stage? All right, okay. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, what the fuck are we talking about? Who knows, Pussy, dude? Pussy. This sh- this is, dude, what is talking? Banging. <laughs> yeah, what is language? So, here, you know what? I get why Rogan does it. It's pretty good content. <laughs> it really yeah. is. You just move like... your mouth and it makes sounds and we all understand each other. Well, that's wow. crazy. <laughs> yeah, just a guy not understanding anything? <laughs> yeah. So it just like, comes out of your head and you <laughs> style it? Like, that what is, is this? Basically, what is this stuff? Joe Rogan yeah. podcast is basically just ter- teaching a monkey what the world <laughs> is. <laughs> I mean, it really he really does approach everything like a you know, like like Caesar from Planet of the Apes, just like what is this? I know. It's uh, the Rogan we have a comedian on it's a lot like Robin Williams with Coco the Gorilla. You should just like train like yeah, you should get every Joe Rogan podcast and just play that in front of a child growing up in isolation (laughs) and see what that kid's like perception of the world is. The kid's first word is like, this guy's a fucking idiot. (laughs) It's basically like like trying to, you're on a date with a chick that you're trying to fuck and she's saying stupid shit and you go, that's fucking crazy. Oh my God. (laughs) uh, Wait, it was your uncle that worked there? Like you got, (laughs) what, you hate your coworker? How did you get that? Wow. (laughs) It's crazy how we all like work jobs. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, You got it. Honestly, I think you got to zoom out of it. I fucking hate date like when you have to do that on dates you know you're just like ah, I don't care but I do yeah. you know and just let me see that fucking pussy baby what do I have to say what hoops I'm very to good not even dates just <laughs> small much, talk I'm just, horrible I'm much, very how, good how much, at what do I have to say before you fucking bend over and let me see that chocolatey little butthole of yours Jesus that's <laughs> you aggressive go, oh sorry what I meant to say was that's why <laughs> <laughs> I also Fuck I was sorry, trying man. to change topics. Just like no, 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 back to violence against women. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm That's really, true. I'm really good at going on dates. I'm, I'm oh, in. Dal- a- Dalton had a classic Dalton <laughs> ego thing earlier. He goes, guys, I am really good at going to concerts. It's like, <laughs> that is, by it's the like way, everyone goes to concerts. No, no, like, no. I said it's like it's like being like. I receive the best blowjobs. No, 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 no. <laughs> you do I, it right. <laughs> I stand. I, I'm actually bad at getting blowjobs. I admitted to that. That's true. I don't know how to get but one. I was like, can't I, stop hitting her. I can't. Yeah, <laughs> I can't stop punching her. I never pay. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I walk it on the bill every time. <laughs> right, Ryan. You can. You, Apparently, the way I do, it's a crime. <laughs> Ryan, you're a music guy. You agree? It's it's like. A concert is not, it's already an overwhelming environment. Mm-hmm. Add to that COVID, all this vaccine shit. It's tough to, it's like, it's like nerve wracking to get it. Yeah. The band's like, that guy's killing it. No, it's not. Stage. It's not even. <laughs> you know, it's not even that. It, it's just that. I, you know what, Robbie? You I know what, Robbie? I'm sorry. I yeah, Robbie. <laughs> Dalton is trying to explain his craft to us. Yeah, yeah. Dalton, yeah. please tell us how you're yeah, able I'll to listen you. to music. See, you're calling him like an open mic or concert goer. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't know how to go to a concert. Maybe someday I'll be booked on you're a, bar, me. a bar concert. You're ridiculing me. Yeah, I'm telling you, you, guys in the you big have, you have no arenas, idea buddy. how to attend a concert. <laughs> man, Chris Italia said I was a podcaster. I'm a concert goer, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a golden man. ticket holder, man. <laughs> This guy's not even letting the music sink into his brain. <laughs> you might as well be listening to the CD at that fucking uh, Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I Look, I don't even know how to explain it. You just have to go to a concert with me. I would love to go to a concert. <laughs> you have to sound like it. a trap. You just, <laughs> imagine, you're fucking drinking a beer at the concert sitting beside Dalton. Fuck, he's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. You, you do have to see it live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you see these guys around, you never see them on stage. You know? And, <laughs> You see him out of town. Yeah. He's crushing out of town. Yeah, yeah. He's on the road. Yeah. He's on the road with Grateful Dead. Yeah, dude, I thought he was just fine at these local NY bar concerts. <laughs> you never seen him work. Honestly, you never seen him stretch his dude, legs at a all, fish concert. You should set up merch tables outside. A I, got, I gotta be honest concert. with you. If I could do that, that I mean, that's the perfect job, dude. Some just, people have made like a. I don't know if you guys know the Toronto Raptors, but there's this guy, super fan, brown guy, wears a turban. He like got famous of being the fan of the fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is a thing. It's his whole deal. He's got a big Instagram. The whole thing. Just being a fan. Me, Dude, here's an example. It's Expensive. Like I, uh, here's an example. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to a con... Like, this show. It's it's Primus playing Rush with the opening band How being... How many women were there? Very few. Hmm. The opening band being The Sword. Now, a lot of people were there because they're Rush fans. They might not even know about The Sword or Primus. I was sitting with a guy <laughs> and he, he was like, hey, what the... What the What's the sword? And I go, don't even worry. It's look, they're gonna play like a song for forty minutes, and it's gonna it's gonna be heavy, but you're gonna like it, dude. 
And I, I assured him that he would enjoy his time. And then I, I checked in with him after, and he said, you know what? You were right. I did enjoy that. Thank you. You're good at going to concerts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that guy. Please stop asking me. <laughs> <laughs> this, I, I, I just want to do it. How am I doing? <laughs> There's no Tom way. has a yeah. set list of attending a concert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I put a lot of work into it. <laughs> it just says, like, mosh, get some food, <laughs> drink some water. <laughs> that guy would have never enjoyed S.W.O.R.D. otherwise. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is coming from two guys who just don't even go to concerts. I go to, I go to, concerts. I go to concerts, yeah. but we don't like, none of us like the same music. That's, That's true. true. So it's like, we couldn't enjoy it the same, because we all get something different out of the well, concert. Let's all, yeah, let's, all, let's go see Weezer Green Day. What's, what's a concert all of us at this table could go to? Nothing. There's nothing on God's green earth that we could all you enjoy. You fucking pussies don't like the cool shit I like. Unless, yeah. unless it's Bruce Springsteen. The shit I like uh, is We would all fucking... go to Rage Against the Machine, I think. I yeah, would, I would be, go to yeah. that, for sure. Let's all go right. to Rage Against the Machine. Let's go. I'm going to be coked you could, out you of my fucking head. You could see me in action. Yeah. <laughs> you could see me really do my work my magic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Beastie Boys was pretty universal. <laughs> oh, Beastie Boys would have been this awesome. This guy's not even looking at Rage Against the Machine. He's looking at his... Oh my god, I can't take my eyes off him either. <laughs> 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 yeah, they might stop the concert. Be like, we gotta have that super fan leave. He doesn't. He's, he's distracting just... from our razz. <laughs> our razzle is nothing compared to his dazzle. <laughs> we can't follow this guy. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking yeah. security cars can't even get close to him. Everyone's defending him. <laughs> Let him enjoy the concert. We've never seen anyone enjoy a concert like this. They'll start booing the band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even want to hear bulls on parade. We want to see that guy react to it. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the Jumbotron. They don't have any pictures of the band playing. <laughs> Just him like quietly like, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Man, we are going hard on you now, Tom. <laughs> you just don't get it. You just look, I don't even expect you to understand it. I, all I can say is I'm good at going to concerts. He's got and... his boom box set up in the parking lot for yeah. the encore after. <laughs> 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 a lawn chair and a boombox. All right, I'll do one more song. Yeah. <laughs> I already told you. I've already. We've already talked about my love of uh, music reaction videos. That is true. Oh. What is me enjoying a concert like a con but a live music reaction video? <laughs> yeah. A thing that only you like, dude. <laughs> Are you critiquing the reaction guy though? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Reaction to reaction yeah, video. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, there's a guy. I've talked about him here on here before. There's a guy on YouTube I watch every now and then. He's a composer in Hawaii. He calls himself Key of Jeebs. And it's mostly just him watching, like, listening to new metal songs and reacting to them for the first time. Oh, I've seen those yeah. kind of, like, yeah, they missed it in the in its era. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they're, and they're, it's all like, this is actually sick, yeah, and yeah. you're like, it's yeah, just, huge hit, so yeah, probably. It's like, yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's like, how the <laughs> fuck did you miss, like, Flock of Seagulls? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, did you? Like, and they're so dumbfounded yeah, yeah. that it's good. Oh That's kind of the idea, right? Yellow Submarine, this yeah. slap. No, no, no. It's like, I can understand, like, not knowing, like, who wrote a song. Like, you could have heard the song. No, no, I do like the song. I think they're lying. I don't know about it. No, 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 don't say that about Keith. Of Jeeves. Dude, I will like, not let you. <laughs> I will not yeah. let you besmirch I, uh, all reaction Jeeves videos Jeeves where they're like, mm. yeah. <laughs> okay. the my favorite is so every fun. single. Yeah, every react, yeah. Now, now, that, gonna... now that was a, a good lick. Now that was a good lick. Yes. Anyway, back into it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do yes. a YouTube. Right? I enjoy. Dude, there are so many hip hop, hip hop. You watch that? <laughs> That's Dude, so funny. Keith Jeeves. Keith Jeeves is fun for me because it's like him watching like Dig by Mudvayne and going, oh. Rules. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't these guys more popular? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, seems like, it seems like those guys would be good at going to concerts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, those guys would definitely be oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> well, the best is every hip hop reaction videos. All their top are white rappers. So, the, so most yeah, they hip hop. Yeah, they know shit. what the algorithm is like. They they know they, so, they, yeah. they know the science of how to get views. It's like, well, it's fun to watch for me who enjoys white rappers. Be like, hey, a black guy enjoying it. That's cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You feel <laughs> vindicated. Yeah, it's like black people <laughs> like what I like. Black people like Machine Gun Kelly. See, yeah. you know, see like, yeah, they review every like that, Macklemore that, Machine Gun That's what I Gun wish Kelly. fucking Lewis would realize about Dragon Ball Z when I pitched him the DBZ watch along. Is it's like, dude, 
you have no clue how much black people like this. Dude, shit. the that four or five biggest like YouTube sketch channels that are black dudes, they all started as like essentially Dragon Ball Z game like tributes That's and stuff so like really? that. Dude. Yeah, yeah. And they every now and then they go back to their roots, but mostly they do other shit. <laughs> black people but like the whole it. Black to their roots yeah. like LeVar Burton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they put on the chains. Yeah, Your yeah. name is Kakarot. <laughs> Your name is Goku. <laughs> Your name. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Now there's a whole there's a whole genre of black comedy sketch troops that have five million followers, and eighty mm. percent of their content is about Dragon Ball Z. Dude, really? That's they dress crazy. up in the costumes and do the stuff. And... Dude, wow. anytime, anytime I'm talking to a black guy and I feel like we're not connecting, I just go, "Hey, man, you watch Dragon Ball Z?" And then we're in. We're doing business. <laughs> yeah. My anime shirt gets the most black guys. Cool oh shirt, man. God, Dude, yeah. black people love anime. Black people shirts, like cartoons, yeah. and we're gonna get less well, four white guys gonna get to the bottom of what black people like. <laughs> <laughs> Rap, well, I think if cartoons. you remember, Wu Tang used to like all the yeah, yeah, yeah. The kung fu shit. Yeah. yeah, that's why it's... Tarantino and Riza are friends, which is so funny to picture. Just an autistic man like talking to Riza. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's get real. Riza's probably also autistic. Yeah, yeah. But it, like yeah, autism just Riz goes so undi- chill. Riz is so chill with how he talks. He kind of talks like this. You know, there's a lot of con- Tarantino's just like. Oh, I forget you that. can do impressions, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a like, good addition to the podcast, <laughs> dude. An impression guy is is impression. Fucking key. Sound boy. Ryan Long reacts to Loud Boys for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember. No, I've heard Loud Boys, but okay. you haven't been pulling out the fucking impressions. That's you want to even blue balling the audience. <laughs> let's let's see, let's hear another impression. You got one you've been working on? Yeah, what's your main ones you do? Oh, fuck, I'm so jealous, dude. Oh, oh really? Sk- yeah, like, dude, oh, yeah, I can't even do, do accents enough stuff. to do them, like, on stage in a bit. I have to go, he said this, but he was Russian. Like, that, that can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> uh, you know, you, like, the fucking here, like, Russian uh, guy, you know? Here, that's well, really, that's really nice here, I just have to do the eyes, but I do my voice <laughs> the same. <laughs> that's all, that's all Rami, you mean. We got me Love You Long Time t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, no, I, I can't. I have an, I have an idea. Brutal at that. I have an idea, Robbie. Mm. Lo- why don't you? I'll tee you up. Okay. You do Jack Nicholson reacting to Freak on a Leash for the first time. I'm feeling like a freak on a leash. <laughs> well, no, that's oh, singing wait. karaoke. <laughs> You're not involved. Yeah. Anyway, let me check out this song. <laughs> <laughs> he just says that. Yeah, he just says that. He's always feeling like a freak on a leash. Th- that's his catchphrase. He's like, wait, there's a song? He's just saying it. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling like a freak on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> do that. <laughs> the <key to> impression. <laughs> you ever dance with the new metal in the pale moonlight? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think Sandler's my most popular. That's the one people okay. like. But, yeah, that, a lot of people do Sandler. Oh, yeah, he's very popular. Well, how about... What uh, do you do? I, just I realize... like... Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You say, yeah, you just do gibberish, yeah. right? Well, my thing... Yeah, but, ooh, but, 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 <laughs> two Adam Sandlers in the studio. <laughs> what the hell? I got the hell? I got, I got, I got my ghoul. I got my ghoul. Oh, yeah, got, wait, that's funny. God, nosebleed, head explode. <laughs> Sam, real long one. Boy, we have a bit going where we do Livia Soprano, but it's Sandler's grandma doing the lines like, I wish the Lord would take me now. <laughs> yeah, because all of her lines could just be Sandler's grandma Hold character. On. Here, here's another one. How about Adam? Let's, let's hear Adam Sandler reacting okay. to 46 and 2 by Tool. Yeah, 46 and 2. There's something that could have come to my attention yesterday. I don't know, 46 and 2. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess, I guess we really minute. don't listen to the same music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 46 and uh, Jack and Jill. <laughs> I don't know, man. Break, how about Break Stuff? Break Stuff? Yeah, Adam Sandler reacting to uh, Break Stuff for the first time. I'll show you a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck your ass <laughs> off. There we go. There we go. Oh, that, yeah, there there go. It's all coming I together. Know, I know Limp Bizkit. We'd see Limp Bizkit okay, together. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would... Guys, if Limp Bizkit... Would would fucking not be such faggots and continue the tour? I would go with you guys. Let me try and do a Ryan Long impression. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm I'm from Canada. That you just did any scratchy voice. <laughs> I don't think like you could pick like Josh out of my, like if Steve O, any guy that has a voice, you just so you know how to make the raspy voice. Yeah. But I don't know if you have my inflection. Uh, yeah. Because you're making my inflection, to be honest, more Steve O. Yeah. Yo, I'm Ryan Long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's I'm, I'm Ryan Long, and this is a uh, fuck up the left. 
What is it? <laughs> know, yeah, right, right, right. What are your? Uh, what do you? What do you think about the current political landscape? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. What? Didn't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Finally. <laughs> Woo! Finally. Fuck yeah. Someone's willing to say <laughs> it like it is. My president. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Dude, you know, I never <laughs> voted in my life. Probably you, never will. You know what's hilarious really? was uh, fuck no t- on Twitter when you posted that you made your appearance on like the Colbert show. I was like, people oh, got <laughs> fired up. <laughs> Why? Wait. What do you mean? Well, I, because uh, you know that there was like a video of Colbert yeah. oh, dancing fucking, with the vaccine. That, that was whatever. so bad. What the fuck happened to that guy? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? How did he get so fucking good? I, yeah. so fa- <laughs> no, but I posted. I said, you know what? It's uh, I've been keeping this a secret for three months, but I was uh, I made my Colbert debut. I'm the needle in the back left, or <laughs> whatever, some shit like that. And That's I was really like, funny. I was so nervous. Yeah, and. People were posting, and so many people go, you're proud of that? And then some people would be like, actually, that's a big moment for him. Like, you should be... Uh, <laughs> people were all arguing. And then some people that even, like, knew that's who so I was funny. be like, seems weird that you would do this. Like, blah, blah. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. The people are sh- fucking so stupid. This goes dude. back to, this goes back I, to I mean, what Ryan, I said earlier. I, I said I was a writer for Saturday Night Live, and I got 400 likes. On, and, like, people still are like, dude, congrats on SNL. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, fuck, dude. I can't, like, say, like, oh, I just... Was high and I decided to like fucking put a job. To- yeah, so I, said, I remember like, you yeah, doing yeah. that yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, and everyone was. like... I mean, yours was not really that much of a prank though. It was like, holy crap, dude! I can't believe I'm a writer for Saturday Night Live. <laughs> like, it's you just have such a low opinion of yourself that everyone should be like, as if. <laughs> it's like totally possible, like New York. Oh, comic. Ryan. Uh, I don't know. Is that, is that <laughs> a list of names? <laughs> His name would have to be yeah. Right, right. His name mm. would have to be Joe Sandler. If yeah, you I'd, have to, I'd have to. Well, that's what they, yeah. they people were posting the new SNL thing, and everyone was they're going. Going, oh, just more boring white guys or whatever. And yeah. it was like, yeah, because they pick a white guy that's not boring, you have him fired by noon. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah they, <laughs> they don't even, yeah, the last time they, they better be fucking, fucking boring. boring. Yeah, they picked, uh, yeah, they picked a bunch of alt com. Well, the funniest are like, more white people. One of them's Muslim, which is very funny. <laughs> Muslim like, white guy? Yeah, yeah. Yikes. Whoa. <laughs> no, he, he's a. Christopher X. <laughs> nice. <Yeah>. Muslim white. <laughs> you got. <laughs> Throwing the X in there is great. <laughs> <laughs> you got Muslim in my white guy. <laughs> uh,. Yeah, I yeah, it's funny. Uh, yeah, because it's like they basically just hire alt comics now. Per, I mean, f- for all their jobs, which is like very fun. Yeah, because it's like with Shane, it was like yeah, we're not gonna, <laughs> we're not going to go back to actually. Dude, they always were like to some degree kind of like deconstructionist alt stuff. It's just alt got so whack over yeah, the last that's five. True. You know, it's yeah. just alt wasn't so gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, alt got so gay. <laughs> yeah, know, Norm was there was alt, good kind eras of, of alt. Like, yeah. Norm was like because it was jokes. cool. It's just hipster shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But like it was, you know, hipsters didn't. But now hipster shit is all political, which is like. Like annoying. Remember when like That's hipsters happened, yeah. used to be able to say like the N word and retard and like it was like yeah. it's fine. David I'm Cross doing, yeah. had that Comedy. fucking hard R's on his yeah. Head and his shut stuff. up, yeah. you fuck. Like all that stuff from Shut Up You Fucking Baby was yeah. like oh Comedy Bang Bang. They dropped N words on there all the time. Now it's like the most woke podcast. Yeah. And, uh, is it, so that's what's so crazy, especially when they go after Shane. It's like you guys are all doing this like five years ago. We should show solidarity. Also, with I Shane. missed that. Let's go. Yeah. Let's say the N word right now. Let's all say the N word <laughs> right I now. I can't come to this. Let's say it. Let's say it five times in a mirror. And one will appear. I'm at a video of black guy reacts to white people saying the N word. Okay. Pretty cool. He does it pretty cool. This is awesome. It's, He's the, got biggest biggest it's the black guy reacts to Kramer doing stand up. <laughs> it's like these white guys get it. This guy is saying Ooh, what I'm thinking. This boy, this, man, Kramer wilding on this one. <laughs> Uh, that's I love the idea of always uh, like agreeing with black guys when they're making a point about black people like a black guy being like you know what sometimes it's our own fault because we need to stick together and then commenting like my dad was just saying this like, <laughs> <laughs> dude I couldn't agree more yeah. like you nailed it and they're like <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah man well yeah that's a th- I mean you have to like you know, you're doing a lot of stuff like outside the industry, right? uh, you know, like m- making a name for yourself with that stuff. Dude, it's like, that's the cool. industry that's cool. is like over. But if you think the music was always like this, mm-hmm. it's only comedy had the fucking industry path. Like, oh, really? You know? Yeah. I don't know. It, what, there wasn't fucking TV jobs for bands. Right, or, right. Or DJs. Or like, right. Dude, I got to tell you, man, that's, that's what was cool about that show last night. Like, wh- whatever you think about. Those two bands, Primus and Rush. They're not as good as you on the crowd. They're I don't not, like they're not as good yeah. as me just being there for sure. <laughs> but uh, I like Primus. Rush, I always thought was kind of cool. It just it yeah, was cool for Rush. me because it felt like uh, like going to a bar and seeing a cover band. But it was Primus. Primus. That is really cool. Working there. I mean, dude. Yeah, that's cool. I like to see two bands I like do that. Everyone just loves Neil Peart so much. Mm. Yeah, and I could. I was too watching, many drums. I was, <laughs> dude, yeah. dude yeah, the I, worst I, instrument in a band. No. <laughs> 
I Robbie. think so. You call oh. drums an instrument? That's so nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous, Rob. You don't know. You don't know. See, this is why you're bad at going to concerts. You don't even appreciate. <laughs> you don't even. You don't even appreciate the drums. That's, that's the best part of the concert. That's for sure. true. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. the best part of the concert is right fucking <laughs> right here, baby. Don't prove it, baby. This is the best part of going to any show. I rank it: singer, guitar, <laughs> bass, drums. Right. Now, how, but how then are, me being yeah. in the, cra- in the <laughs> yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah. Now this is this is Dalton at a at a, a concert. But how would you be at a stand up show in in the audience? I mean, I'm the best. Grab the mic and then yeah. uh, <laughs> rush the stage. And get banned from the show for six months. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? They did, yeah, they, they ran that experiment. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you try to transition from music to comedy. It's <laughs> yeah, you know, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I thought so I was at a concert. <laughs> <laughs> I thought John, I was at... John Mayer tried to transition from music to comedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. You transitioned from music to comedy, right? Yeah, I think. One of the things I was like young enough, maybe. Mm, yeah, uh, Robbie. Wait, wait, wait. You don't like drums? No. That's... No, I like drums. It's just like and drummers never the star of the show for me. Oh, there's no drummer I love. His like... internal homophobia. The drummer's always got his shirt off, and he's like, I wasn't even looking that yeah. way. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the fully clothed bass player. What are you, maybe you're looking at the <laughs> <laughs> fucking kids these days. Robbie, can you name can you name three drummers? Yeah, I can. Who? Keith Moon, John Bonham, Travis Barker. Wow. Okay. Ryan, can you name three drummers? <laughs> know who my favorite drummer is who I don't know his name is the guy from Suicide Machines. I can't remember that guy's name. I, I, always, I always thought that. they had the I don't know that, that band. band. That sounds uh, like a superhero like a, movie. A punk band. It, it sounds like a machine I would like to step inside of. I like those kind of drummers. I, one I would like, guy one like. machine I'd like to step inside of is Burt Kreischer. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You know Chad Smith? I went to his. I went to, yeah. like, oh, from chi- Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yeah, I went to watch Chicken Foot because my, ba- my body was like their fucking tour manager or some shit. And then, like, uh, he plays. He has a, a big jar of sticks attached to his thing. He just plays and he throws. He does tricks, but he doesn't do a trick. He just throws it in the air, grabs another one, then just keeps playing. Oh, it right. just goes through a hundred <laughs> sticks. Wow. That's awesome. He doesn't do, like, he doesn't catch one single stick. Just throws them in the air. <laughs> That's wow. so good. It was yeah. pretty cool. I take it back. Drummers are sick. Drummers are cool, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Drummers are way fucking cool. Animal in the Muppets, dude. Animal. That guy Animal fucking is cool. Phil Collins. The skins. Phil Collins is all right. Uh, I do like that. Do 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 do. Yeah, That's a good drum thing. You would. I can't be. That'd be like big it. to watch you fucking watch that. <laughs> oh, you, you gotta, you gotta work a, your way up to that. Yeah, Ryan. that's a Patreon. <laughs> that might, that might blow your fucking mind, <laughs> yeah, dude. We have a bonus Ooh. episode where we react to that part of that song. <laughs> no. You get, you get me at a fucking Genesis concert. That'll be the best show you ever seen. <laughs> All right, you heard it, folks. The one thousand dollar tier. Uh, you subscribe to that. You We're can gonna go get to a Genesis concert. back together. Yeah, the, the GoPro live yeah. streaming on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> we follow Dalton around. Around with 4K cameras to really capture the moment of him <laughs> at a concert. <laughs> Sir, you can't record it's in here. Still, it's like, it oh. still doesn't compare to seeing it live. Yeah. I it, gotta it, say. It, it, it's so hard to capture what it's like to watch me watch a concert live. Dude, I didn't. After I like stopped doing music, there was a probably a good four or five years where I hated going to concerts because it was just, you know what I mean, like seeing yeah. your ex girlfriend on yeah. fucking Instagram kind of thing. Yeah. What made you stop uh, doing music? Like, uh, um, it, we weren't doing good anymore. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. The whole, you know, scenes like die, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah. we had like a moment. Scott. It was kind of like all popping, and it was just the whole thing was kind of you know changing. The industry was dead. The right. like our scene was kind of dying out, and I just was like super focused on doing my like cable access TV show at the time and Dude, you I just kind of walked away from if it. If you if you hadn't like pivoted in some way, you could have easily become the just like the Eve 6 guy. You mean all my friends? Yeah, I guess all <laughs> your friends. Yeah, I, I watch all of them and, and they'll still be posting like old you, clips of the band you're like that was 12 years ago. Do you do you know the Eve 6 guy? <laughs> no, I don't know that. Dude, that that, that g- was a generation above me oh, okay. and also different type of music. Guy, well, let's pull up he, this he's video. He's wild. Yeah. He's pretty funny though. He is he, uh, when his <laughs> He's Riot. in a fight with Riot Fest right now. Yeah, I saw that. That was hilarious. Yeah, that, and he goes, oh, I'll say, he goes, the funniest thing I thought he said, he goes, yeah, yeah, you guys are so relevant. He goes, you have all my favorite bands, and I'm 45. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you don't have a single band that isn't one of my <laughs> bands I grew up with. Yeah, yeah. He, see, he seems like the like the Kevin Brennan of music. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, just, he's really funny, but it's also like he's so bitter that yeah. it's like, well, I, what, what? 
Do you, I, I don't even know. I don't know what his Twitter made me laugh. He fights though. with everyone. He fights with everybody. He, yeah, he'd even said a pretty good. I don't know. I was looking at it two days ago because uh, the guy in my old band was like, said, we were talking about it. But he goes, uh, oh, fuck. Well, he goes, the funniest part is when people like come at him, they go, oh, Eve Six sucks. He's like, yeah, I don't really care that you don't like songs I made in high school. Like, I'm fucking 45. Yeah, he de- he de- by the way, he definitely cares. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> me, me thinks the he, lady he clearly... doth protest too much. You're telling me yeah, that guy likes attention? You're probably right. Yeah. Because <laughs> I say that too, and I for sure care. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, well, yeah, we were Pe- fucking gay. People, yeah, people who truly don't care about something don't feel the need to constantly say, I, I don't, don't even care. Even, that, one song, don't care. that one song was like, it's so good. Yeah, that yeah. that and what's the other song that I always kind of reminds Here's me of? Here's to the night we, we felt alive. Here's to the, the tears night. still in your eyes. Yeah. Here's to tonight. To mo- I don't know, dude. No, I hate I that was, shit. That wasn't what I, I was thinking of. By lit, like the, oh, I put yeah. those guys in the same genre. My own worst enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Eve Six is the big one. And I follow my pride. I was on the road. Something in the Taking my heart, turn it inside. Beautiful oblivion. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I guess Eve Six is cool. They rock. They're dude. great, man. He's they, the they, they went guy. after Lewis, right? They or went. I mean, he's been going after everybody. I think he's. He has been going after everybody. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's his whole thing. Yeah. yeah Why does he do that? He's become a. He's become an, he's, on, an online guy. I guess that's exactly a good way boy. to put it. Yeah. He became an online he's guy. He's yeah. an online guy. <laughs> what? What a horrible thing dude, to pivot to. This <laughs> hor- I'll tell you what's even more horrible: be the other guys in Eve Six. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dude, that's how I, that's how I always think about that. Like with Seth Simons' parents, like, could you imagine just being like, Seth, could you please stop <laughs> doing this? Like, Mom, just, shut up! Yeah. I have to, I have to take down Dave Smith today. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I don't, Mom, shut up! I have to, I have to go after Tim Dillon. <laughs> yeah, I don't care one way or the other. It's like I, the conversations I've had with my parents just doing comedy, and they're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> yeah, like where they're worried. Could you imagine just like your parents being like? Well, we got it. We got more anthrax in the mail. Could you please stop fighting with Lewis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he really is just the inverse of like a of like a L- Legion of Skanks fan. Like he's like the same kind of guy, but he's like. Ryan would be the person to talk to about how two <laughs> groups of people are actually kind of the same. Yeah. <laughs> can I? Hey, can, do you do that? Can I use that? What? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you got a shirt and a sketch out of this. <laughs> the shirt's actually pretty fucking sick. Uh, you, you could take it, man. What was the shirt? Do the two shirt videos? I literally sometimes look and I'm like, fuck, I should do a two shirt video because they do so good. But I'm out of I'm out of two shirt concept. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's kind of what we were saying before. People are stupid. <laughs> so if you're if you can illustrate your point with clothing, I, yes. want, to, I want to imagine the guy who just buys the racist shirt <laughs> <laughs> just by himself. Just walking around with racist on his fucking <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. shirt. No. Well that's why you gotta rework it. Like remember when Clerks 2 came out and uh Do I ever? Yeah. There's that scene where he has the shirt and it says on the back Porch Monkey for Life. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And then when he did the merch, it said pillow pants for life, referencing the um Pussy troll from the movie rather than the racial slur. So that's the thing with merch. You got to rework it so it's not racist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? That's dumb. That's shirts 101, baby. <laughs> shirts 101. <laughs> what if I just, yeah, put like wokes and racist, both make some good points? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the lesson of that video. That they both make great points, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you do one of those shirts that's like, uh, like those goofy shirts that's like Jim and Pam and Michael and you know oh, what I'm yeah, about? yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that, but it's like uh, woke and racist and uh, the, the they're the same. Yeah, it's yeah. that style. Seth Simons. And what what Seth, should we and, do for the Loud Boys once? It would be piss and shit, piss and, rape and shit, and gay, diarrhea, come. Uh, I, I don't. Adam Sandler. Uh, Austin, Austin Power. Power. <laughs> we, we just name Austin Powers characters. Yeah. Austin and Fat <laughs> Bastard and Doctor Evil. <laughs> Mini me. What's the point of those shirts? I don't like them, but they're so. I popular. don't like them either. It's like man. it's ba- the original one. I think was like the Beatles because it was like John and Paul oh, and George and Ringo. I didn't oh. know that. And so like everything else is like a variation of that. Oh, I didn't know it was a parody. I was yeah. like, why are you listing things? Who cares? Yeah, why did the Beatles copy of the Office? That seems. Weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they don't have an original thought in their fucking head, dude. <laughs> First they copy black people, yeah. <laughs> and then they copy Jim. You've gone too far. Oh, John John Lennon stole 
everything from black people, including beating his wife. <laughs> Imagine there's no black guys. Imagine there's no Negroes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Man, I'm getting too spicy on this one. Dude, I was I was listening back to that uh, live show we did, and I'm like, oh my god. Like, uh oh, we're done, dude. Yeah, yeah, we're fucked. Like, yeah, we're fucked. The we're live so shows are tough when you put it out there. <laughs> you you uh, got a license to. Yeah, it, I was like intoxicated by. Well, yeah, everyone's screaming, whoa. And yeah. then some guy's listening to it in his car. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Dude, we started chanting Heil Hitler, dude. <laughs> we fucking walked into the streets of Chicago. We were flipping over cars. A cop tried to stop us. We fucking. That's a multiple time. I'm green shit. Dude, it's nuts, dude. We fucking killed a cop on the fucking streets of Chicago. It was ooh, wild. That's how ooh, Gavin ooh. started the Proud Boys. It was yeah. just a live show that got out of hand. Yeah, a, a, a live podcast. We should podcast. take this to the streets. Yeah. <laughs> what if we just started punching people? <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo, woo. See, this is gonna... This, yeah, I you mean, can get but, people jazzed up in a show environment. I know, and then oh, you're like... Oh, and then dangerous. I literally was like, I can say anything. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. And then let's record it and put it out there in front of the paywall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I man, whatever. Like, I don't know. Who cares? I was Who cares, about- dude? The world ended. Dude, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I, I think we're so beyond fuck that I'm, I'm just choosing to enjoy it. Yeah, you know? it is funny to just like kind of close off, like, oh, I'll just never get a writing job. That's well, that, oh, you, I, I think you I should even, close. Up. Yeah, fu- the fuck only that, thing you dude, should I'm worry about. I'm talking about fucking COVID and all this. It's like, we're done, dude. I'm, I'm going to yeah. live life. I'm going to eat massive amounts of drugs and go to concerts yeah. and really do what I love because I'm very good at going to concerts. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Ryan, why should you close that <laughs> off, though? What are you going to say? Well, the only thing that, that f- like, for you guys, it's like you don't want to get kicked off like YouTube and iTunes. It's, you don't want to get kicked off. The, yeah, like, that will be, I do. It'll f- that'll <laughs> fuck you, and you know whatever you can, yeah. it happens. But like, Info as far wars, as what you go, come. what do you want? Go what you want to take a train to Times Square every day <laughs> yes. to go fucking write on some garbage? That sounds kind of fun. Actually, you, where they hate you, Robbie. Yeah. Robbie would enjoy that. I would like you, that. Robbie actually. would like that. You're a I, company man at heart. I, I I just want to be in the Family Guy writers room and doing Peter voices. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I would kill. <laughs> I would do so good in that. See, room. we all have our environment that we thrive in. Yeah. I'm, I'm the concert goer. Yeah, well, you're I the can't, Peter Griffin I, I can't buy a ticket to a career. <laughs> I wish I could, dude. Yeah, you're stuck in the old way a little. Yeah, a little Uh-oh. bit. You're stuck in it. Well, yeah, because I, I free think, your mind, Robert. Think of it me. like music. Like you know, no one fucking taps you. That's shit's yeah, done. Yeah, for sure. Even still, like. Who, also, I who was... would you rather be? Like, even they don't make any fucking money. Like, even if you think of people that make a lot of money, it's the same as like, look at all those DJs filling out stadiums, and then there's some guy on the radio no one gives a shit about. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, it's just it's... we're the we're the fucking Steve Aoki of podcasting, yeah. Robbie. You need to come to grips with that. I'm dead more... mouth. We're throwing cakes. We're more of an Avicii. <laughs> actually, I'm just gonna actually. eat the cake. But Avicii's <laughs> dead. To be honest with you, if there's a cake, I'm eating it. I'm real good at eating cakes. Yeah, I'm really good at two things: <laughs> enjoying music and eating cakes. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. Yep. <laughs> Damn, I love that we we are now just like shirt like hey, good shirt idea. Let's yeah. put that on a shirt. Yeah, yeah. Well, once you get girls wearing the shirts, yeah. girls already are wearing the shirts. Robbie, that's pretty cool. Robbie's girlfriend wore the shirt. Oh, Robbie's... you guys have quadruple XL. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. My girlfriend Karen Feehan wore the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did buy. She bought two shirts. Karen. Yeah. Two shirts. <laughs> but you, sh- you yeah. got to give her the Robbie's girlfriend discount of free shirts and a night of passion. Yeah. Well, I did That's sh- up to Robbie, dude. Did you give my girlfriend Karen Feehan the uh, no the night of passion no, discount? No, I charged her full price, dude. <laughs> it's okay. Look, if you want to, if you, if you want to give shirts away, that's on you. Yeah, man. I don't like, even have a shirt. I don't, I don't even have a shirt. Let me tell you something, man. If you want to enjoy concerts, you got to sell some fucking shirts. Yes, sell shirts. Mm-hmm. You sell shirts, and then <laughs> hey, maybe you can enjoy a Primus concert. We don't know. I do. don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. I'm just trying to make it. But you're the boss, Look, dude. I'm you not the fucking, fucking boss. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not boss. the boss. I'm not. That's guys. like the ultimate <laughs> boss. Hey, look, man, I just, I create the ideas, what I if, put it out there, I ain't the boss, man. Where would Bruce Springsteen be if he had that attitude? Yeah. I don't know. What if I Bruce don't, Spring- yeah. don't want to be- They call him the boss, he's like, you guys, <laughs> I'm, not the, I'm not the boss, it's like a- I'm big, not the boss, vi- I'm vice I, president. I'm too shy, I'm humble, I can't be the boss. I don't want to be, <laughs> I don't want to be humble, anybody's boss. I'm I don't want to be Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> I'm just a man who travels up and down Thunder Road, hitchhiking. <laughs> 
few, dude. So yeah, the boss yeah, comes with some. Dog. Yeah, I'm no. just I'm I'm just kind of exhausted. To be honest with you, I I really went hard last night. Yeah. Oh man. What'd you eat? A sh- quarter of shrooms? Uh, well, no, the shrooms is one thing. No, I just overexerted myself. It was like a five hour show. And I should have taken a five-hour energy. I guess you would I have should. just enough energy for the show. <laughs> I yeah. should have. That would have been like per- I, I feel as if I didn't experience a concert with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel. I mean, I feel okay. I just. Uh, no, I know. What you yeah, mean. I, I, like, we're getting older, dude. Yeah, like getting old sucks, dude. It's gay. <sighs> that's the gayest thing you can do aside from fucking a man. Is get pulled old. a muscle watching a concert last yeah. night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, mean, I miss being able to just yeah, like go out. his back, carrying <laughs> the concert. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh oh, I pulled it off. Everyone loves me. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, the band doesn't even know. They're like, they don't even know that that fucking. I They're yeah, like, thank yeah. God that fat kid yeah, was in yeah, the audience. Yeah, we <laughs> I was phoning it in, dude. Well, hey, sir, getting... what's your name? He goes, I gotta do my own thing. Yeah. <laughs> I got an, I got an eleven o'clock up down. <laughs> <laughs> What a gold mine this has been. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny because it is. A, I mean, it's a ridiculous. Thing. It's a ridiculous thing to say. What, like, it is I'm, a genre of YouTube, though. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't argue with a YouTube genre. I mean, the truth is, I'm just autistic. And like, be- before. No. <laughs> Telling your parents, like, oh, I'm going to watch people's YouTube videos for a living. You, they'd laugh you out of the fucking arena. <laughs> and then now look at these people. Yeah, yeah you're going to be like Tarantino. I'm not <laughs> now, I'm not giving a dime to you, yeah. Mom. You all these, believe in Now me. all these people are asking for a T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, well. They're all going to laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I truly, like, because a concert is such a big investment, I do, like, prepare for it. <laughs> like, like, I really sit down and listen to the music. I, I, I nerd out over it. <laughs> So I do love I do love listening to a band after I've seen the show. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely listen to them a lot. But more I, I'm aware that it's ridiculous to say I'm good at going to concerts. <laughs> you just like limbering up before the concert. Yeah, just like oh, like you <laughs> look in the mirror. Big one. <laughs> Showtime. <laughs> <laughs> That must be fucking frustrating for you to go with someone who's bad at it, dude. Showing up late, getting caught. It's just like, dude, it's a like bad you're embarrassing me. <laughs> yeah, they, these are, they know the me pocket. here. And you're, you don't even know what you're doing at this show. Dalton says hi to all the security guards when he's coming in. <laughs> yeah. and they're like, hey, Mr. Pruitt, how's it going? Glad you could make it. Yeah. yeah. One Doctor guy's like, Pruitt. do you have a ticket? And another guy like rushes to whisper in his ear. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right away. Sir. Right here. <laughs> oh, this guy's one of the best. Yeah. <laughs> just, just trust me. Some of the concert goers are like, oh, my God, do you see that? Is that Dalton Pruitt right there? I saw that happen in real life to Amy Poehler. That's that's Amy Poehler though. <clears throat> yeah, I know, but it's funny that it, yeah. that's like a that cliche, actually does happen, but it yeah. did happen. What did they do? It was after the Comedy Central roast of James Franco. I was like just working it because uh, I interned there briefly, and um, Amy Poehler came up like she was like she, she was drunk, which was awesome. But she was like, "Hey, can I get in?" She, and they were like, "Oh, you don't have a ticket. You can't get in." <laughs> and uh, and so then someone from like just ran up to the fucking security and was like, that's Amy Poehler letter. You're he, fired. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, he's and, like, and fucking at LOL, they just turned away. Bill Burr. <laughs> Bill. Yeah. That's tight, dude. <laughs> Welcome back to reality, Mr. Burr. Yeah. You got to be on the street barking like I, the rest of us. I feel like, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> I'd get turned away at LOL, too. Yeah. You're on the same level as Bill Burr, then. Mm-hmm. It's a bad comedy club. What, Dalton, don't say that. Why? Why is it a bad comedy club? Because they won't book me. Me too. Uh oh. I never go there. <laughs> I mean, I went there when I first. That might have been the first comedy club I ever went to. Actually, no, no, no. I take that back. But it was the first one in New York I went to. Did you email LOL Dalton? No, I, I don't really care. LOL man. Comedy Club, book the Loud Boys, I, please. I truly don't care to perform. Please there. book I mean, us. We, it would really mean a lot to us. It's a weird room. It's fu- it's strange. The, two days after I moved here, I went there and there was a brawl, enormous brawl. Casey Aurora was on stage, and then. People in the audience start fighting. The guy jumps on stage, and then the bouncers come in, like for real blood everywhere, kind Damn. of brawl. Wow. And then they finish the show. Casey, Whoa. <laughs> Casey went back. That's Hell cool. Yeah. yeah, the guy came running in, huge big bouncers too. Yikes! It yeah. was amazing. This is like day two in New York. I'm like, New York's wild. Hell well, did yeah. you did you see during <laughs> during, during, during... That's, a, that's crazy though. That's fucking. What were they fighting about? Casey Aurora said something to the mom, and, the, yeah. and then the son stood up being like, don't fucking talk shit to my mom. But the son was like a big farm dude kind of Yikes. thing. Yikes. Corn fed. Now that's a guy who's good at going to concerts. Mm. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it was wild. They were like drunk tourists that had probably yeah. been like day drinking, and then they're like, Let's, they, you know, got conned yeah. into going to LOL because they thought mm. Chappelle's going to be yeah, there. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> mad the there. Everyone's mad there because they literally promise people <laughs> yeah. that like Tina Fey's going to be there tonight. <laughs> Dave yeah. Chappelle, Bill Cosby's there. They, they, they don't say they might hour. drop in. They say they're going to be there yeah. tonight. Yeah. Not even, uh, you know, not even comics. They're like Obama's talking tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no shame. I got it. We got Dick Cheney on the lineup. We got a. Henry Kissinger. <laughs> Rush Limbaugh's gonna be there. Rush Limbaugh. Isn't he dead? <laughs> Bill Murray's doing uh yeah, I mean that literally they say she like I that that's why I went there is because like I was with friends just visiting New York from Bot. We we were in like our first week of college and or I something. I like Rush Limbaugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He was cool, we were just dude. classic, you know, classic nineties kids who love Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> yeah, I do some perks. Uh, do you want to take a walk down memory lane? Just put on some old Rush. Yeah. Rush <laughs> Limbaugh. <laughs> yeah, I love Rush. <laughs> you had, wait, wait, Rush? <laughs> oh Limbaugh. <laughs> Primus does the music. Oh, I'm, I'm sort Limbaugh. of into old Rush. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The, Demo- the Democrats are at it again. Ooh, this one's awesome. Oh, man, oh, listen to the tone. Yeah. It was so fun, dude. <laughs> what a master. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be amongst so many losers and just appreciate <laughs> songs about space and dude, I was, spaceships. Prime is a sec, dude. I love. Yeah. Well, Prime. they were playing the Ru- uh, Rush album, so it was all those. That like, I would have liked less. No, nah, dude, it was fucking tight. I, I but also, they also played some Primus hits. They, I mean, they actually cool. did like, like two the South Park theme. You like no, that they one? didn't. Yeah, fuck yeah, oh, yeah, dude. Oh, dude, it is right cool. He was like coming down South Park. Dude. I'd get Everyone's hyped like, if I saw that one. Damn, I would fucking go in the mosh pit there and play yeah. the South Park. I'd be theme. like, now do Family Guy. <laughs> you, him today, you know what? Yeah, you, you know what? Oh, Peter was a Family Guy. <laughs> you know what? You got. You guys shouldn't even go to concerts this year. At why? <laughs> Dalton, you, you, guys, you guys are you fucking noobs. Want them to play their own songs? Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, like, <laughs> this, this, see, you want to play the South Park theme? I'm I'm wanting them to play. So, Tommy like, was a cat. No, I want to hear like Coattails of a Dead Man. I want to oh, hear yeah. Deep Cuts, yeah. Last Salmon Man. <laughs> That's because they're like a cult band. If you go to Eve yeah. Six, you're not hearing shit off the first album. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. yeah, Primus yeah. is one of those, like, it's like kind they're of... They're hardcore. They're the a cla- cult yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like everybody there is, like, hardcore in the, into that shit. Like me. Me too. Me too. Rush three. is just... Um, like, I get why we people We all love like the Rush, same music. We all do. Pretty, we really should go to a concert <laughs> we should together. Go to a concert together. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, what concert do you want to go to? I think... I mean, Rage Against the Machine is the best universal pick. Yeah. That'd be fun. Are they touring? They're yeah, they're playing MSG. But it's like a million uh, fucking uh, bucks. August twenty twenty two. I would I, I already will, have a ticket. I would yeah, go. Cool. Yeah. yeah. How I'll much for a ticket? Me and Ian probably Fidance, so fucking yeah, like eighty. Less bucks. than Jake. Yeah. Less than Jake. <laughs> how, how, yeah, dude. <laughs> we, did, we didn't end up doing it. I remember Eve when... six is kind of like less than Jake Flores. <laughs> I remember when, when Boston's was playing like one of the parks. I wish I had gone to that. I want to see. They, the, they were big on the park tours. For yeah, a bit. I yeah. want to see the dancing guy live. <laughs> would, dancing I, guy I would, stopped for a while and no one knows why. What? And the Boston's guy he's was like the Jimmy. Band. He's Jimmy Kimmel's announcer. Yeah, 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 yeah Dicky Barrett. Yeah, he was for a while. He was. He also did Adam Carolla's theme song. Oh no. Yeah. It's just, yeah. No, that's that's true. Uh, yeah, he was just on Adam guys. Carolla recently. Yeah, I think oh, he's yeah. like weirdly in that circle for some reason. Well, it's not for the some reason. He was circle. their. He was their announcer. Oh, but I think they were friends before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it all takes like place. It's all the man show verse. Did they do like a George the man show verse? Spider Man enter the man show verse. <laughs> it's like it's Joe, Rogan, Joe Rogan Doug. comes from the multiverse to me. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan, Doug Stanhope have to team up with Adam Carolla it's and crazy Jimmy Kimmel that was, <laughs> to preserve manhood. That was probably the better hosting duo, Stanhope and Joe Rogan. I w- I'd want to see a show with those. Well, two that's guys. the problem. Was it was just like the fucking uh, censorship at Comedy Central. Adam change everything. Yeah. And yeah, at the time, everyone's like, "Who are these two fucking idiots?" Yeah, yeah. It, it's funny because like now yeah. that'd be a way bigger show. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I don't know. Kimmel's still pretty big. No, not as big as Rogan. Yeah, if yeah. Rogan came back to host the Man Show, it would be. Yeah, a if Rogan was like, "I'm bringing yes. back." Well, he's being <laughs> fucking. He did try to do fucking, fix this shit. He did try to do Fear Factor again, and it got canceled. Really? Yeah, in like yeah. 2014, he did Fear Factor again. What? He must have got so much money for that. Yeah, he was basically like, "I had a kid and just needed more money." <laughs> That's like, it was. Bef- it was like right, truck came right before the podcast. Doesn't really he have like a black daughter? He has a black stepdaughter. Okay. Oh, really? Delicious. Yes. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> no, she's fucking hot. Like, there's some really cool pictures. 
I'll, po- I'll post them on the group chat. So later. That's interesting, man. So you want to fuck my daughter? Yeah, absolutely. Damn, that sucks, dude. Joe Rogan would fucking kill me if I tried to fuck any of his kids. You're taller than him. Yeah, I probably could fuck him. Damn, up. nice. Yeah, dude, I told you, dude. Oh, I'm into. I'm fuck in. me, dude. Is he, yeah. This is a Woody Allen in the making situation. Is that a Woody Allen in the making? How? He's gonna fuck his stepdaughter. Why not, dude? Honestly, I feel yeah, like what was wrong with what Woody Allen did? Nothing. Thank you. He didn't do anything wrong. Wow. I, I'll tell you what. What he did do is he didn't beat the shit out of Mia Farrow enough, okay. so she couldn't fucking poison her children against their father, dude. All right, we're after, we're <laughs> over an hour. <laughs> Leave we'll, him hanging. We'll end on we'll end on, oh, wait, wait, uh, uh, we'll end on Joe Rogan's stepdaughter solidifying ha- us never having careers. Well, hold on, uh, everyone. Uh, this weekend, Brooklyn's cool at fucking. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the Brooklyn Comedy Club. Yeah, Bro- Brooklyn's cool. Uh, Sunday, October tenth, six o'clock. We have Bro- Andy Haynes, David Angelo, Caitlin Palufo, and uh, Pat Barry. And we'll be at Laughing Up Poughkeepsie uh, the uh, November 11th and 12th. So please come to that yeah. if you're upstate. Ryan, plugs. yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I'm glad your shows have been popping too. It's Thank cool you. to see the Loud Boys. Yeah, on fire. Yeah, this is like our first like club headlining weekend. It's like, cool, man. Because well, I saw some of the Brooklyn stuff you guys are doing, and it's cool. It's you, really you did fun. Our show yeah. One time. yeah, you did our yeah. show. You broke it in, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were like, I was like, I don't even know if I want to even do this fucking show, dude. Yeah. This show no, fucking sucks. And then Ryan Long gets I'm on and he's like, dude. Yeah. What's up, man? The white man fucking rocks. And I was like, God <laughs> yeah. damn, dude. We can change the world. The finance was in the crowd, like, this guy's stealing my bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my this is my thing. I think you might I might have met you the day I moved here. You did. Like, you yeah, came into the day uh, I moved yeah. here. I came into That's the pair. And you probably right after. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I, I remember when, when you, like, Harrington Her- introduced us. And yeah, like, that was probably, like, yeah, a few days in, and we mm-hmm. came to drink. But I met him, like, I was, like, off he, the plane. He literally came in, and he was like, I just came here from Canada, and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, we got to get this guy on the fucking stage, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they banned me. They fucking banned me, dude. <laughs> All right, so we're going to... Wait, 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 Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. At <laughs> Ryan Long Comedy Everything and uh, the boys cast with Ryan Long. New it's video a, every Monday. Subscribe to the Patreon. We're going to slide on over the Patreon for a little part two action. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. October... Oh, you know what? October 21st, uh, the Stan Comedy Club, and then Chicago, Austin, Plano, Phoenix. Yeah, Fuck, do you have a yeah. website? Yeah, Ryan Long Comedy. Are you right. are you headlining the stand? Uh, yeah, I'm doing no, I'm doing I'm doing a taping. Oh, oh fuck yeah! So Everyone headlining out to like, that. I'm doing I'll, a ton of headline shows. Let's but... all come, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, if you're in the tri-state area, you're be doing sure, a yeah. long set. No, I'm doing three sets. <laughs> I'm right. doing three sets, <laughs> and I've sold out too. So there's only—I nice. mean, I don't know when this comes out, but there's only probably. Uh, that's like cool, man. Congrats. Tickets left. Congratulations! That's, that's fucking awesome. awesome Everyone dude. buy tickets. He doesn't need us, but oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. That's it. awesome. Come on, man. Robbie, believe in the show. Uh, right, Ryan, I, you need us. I think you guys. Yeah, you, yeah. what do you mean? You gotta like rel- You gotta fucking some numbers, some relevance. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm the, the boss. Uh, here. I, I get <laughs> that, I get that you the the like the like oh we suck stuff is contagious and you're yeah. kind of it's in your DNA. Yeah, it is. I was saying this to him before. I go, but you. Like have a little a bit of Gary V in you. I need that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You need Gary. Like v. a little bit of like no, yeah. we're fucking sick. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, we're killing it, dude. Forty eight laws of power. How to win? <laughs> how to win friends and influence people? <laughs> uh, I, it's you can roll your eyes at it all day long and be like, we're shit. We shouldn't even have a show. But I think I think you could. Uh, him specifically could benefit from a little bit of like. That's why um, he's the Don Draper of the show, dude. You're gonna you're gonna. Handle... I guess he has doll. You you're pretty cocky, right? No. Oh, so he absolutely. Said he was Are the you, do you guys have a cocky guy? Oh, yeah. it's Dalton. No, no. It is, right? <laughs> he said he's good at going to concerts, he's just, man. Yeah. <laughs> of course he's a cocky Because he's just self-depreciative, but you're still cocky. Yeah. Like, you'll he's be like, Kanye. oh, that guy, yeah. I'm, I'm a fucking loser. But then when someone comes in, you're like, I'm funnier than him. Yeah. Like, like right? Oh, absolutely. You got yeah, his number, dude. Know. I, uh, I don't think there's... I don't know, really man. Bad. I'm just a humble, no. simple that, farmer's that's son. Why, but, yeah, people love that because they're like, oh, I want... I People like see a leader in a guy that has... Blind confidence from the boss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why he, he's the boss, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boss, the loud right, I guess I'm the mighty, mighty, we're the boss toads. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. We're the. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the mighty mighty boss. The tones. boss, Good the night. mighty mighty Wait, boss. Tony homos. Soprano was the boss tone. All right, we got we. Well, let's <laughs> look, we'll in the we'll talk about this on the Patreon. All right, bye, bye guys. All right, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> we blew it. <laughs> Now it shows how truly apathetic we are to one another. Hi, I'm I'm Robbie Goodwin. I'm Joe Gorman. And I'm Dalton Pruitt. And we like to joke around a lot on this show. (laughs) But there's one thing we do take serious.
the fans. I was hoping we'd all say it together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's uh, we we can't goof around right now, Robert. We gotta Sorry, yeah. kind of serious right now. <laughs> Dalton, <laughs> Dalton is teaching his class called T-shirts 101. Yeah, and uh, right now. He's pulling up the shirt. Are we just vamping? What am I no, doing? No, no, no. I gotta figure out whose shirt this is. <laughs> why don't we just sign them? Yeah. Why, Are we gonna, yeah. Like, we're not gonna leave a personalized note on each one. Why, yeah, why don't you read the names after? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess them. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can do that. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go ahead and sign each one. So, on should we there. each just sign one shirt and then pass it to another? Yes. Uh, okay, what do, we, start... what do we talk about while we're signing? I don't know. I look pretty yeah. handsome in this, well, this, in this one, angle. I like this This one's angle. going out to, uh, hold on. How do we do That's this? That's a cool shirt. I have no I haven't seen them it's yet. It's a cool shirt, right? What? Yeah, had him at, we had him at the... Uh... Oh, this one's going to Neil. <laughs> Brennan? Hi. Yeah, this one's going what to... What are you doing, Don? The name's Neil Brennan. This one's going to Neil, guys. Neil, Neil what? I'm not going to say his last name. What's his last <laughs> Shout name? Shout out to Neil. Thanks for buying a shirt. Neil Pert. More like Neil's shirt. Huh? All right. Damn, this is hard. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know how this was going to work. All right, if you want a shirt, use promo code LOUDBOYS at Gas Digital. No, just DM me. I'll I'll take your payment and ship it. All right, we need to speed this up. This is, I can see, I can, people are, are snoozing. Well, do you, do you know, we don't have to do this. We can do it. Maybe we just stick it at the end. Yeah, I mean, we'll just, Damn. um. All right, this is for, this is like bonus content. We, if you thought, plug it is, into the episode. It's going to fucking derail it in the middle of the show. Here, give me the silver. Do you one. want to be cursive or, oh, or print? I'll it do... doesn't matter. We're I'm gonna, I print because. Why is this so difficult? Because we didn't know plan. This is because we didn't. We don't need to plan. Who dude, cares? Just, uh... just sign the shirt. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. All right, I'm almost done. Five more of these, and I can see my family again. All right. <laughs> so if you stuck around this long, you know. This Ryan Long, you know. How come Ryan didn't want to stick around and sign shirts with us? I don't know, man. A Cracker Jack segment like this? It's like, dude, Ryan, help me get out of here. Dude, uh, this sucks. This is hard. This is fun. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we all sign them simultaneously? Then we'll get it done faster. I don't think uh, so, dude. Sharpie? It's not a lot of work. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the listeners, man. Who cares? I, I mean, like, who it doesn't. Cares? I care. I'm a broadcaster. It's part of the show. I'm a professional broadcaster. This is the show. Is us fighting over just trying to sign goddamn <laughs> shirts. <laughs> All right. All right. Jesus. I just want to make sure that people get their shirts the way they asked for them. Yeah. But it's also like, you know, I do care about them. I've been keeping in contact as I do this. Oh. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Here, I need to sign that white one. This is hard. The just, other one. That, I got that one. The shirt. This is very tough. Look, uh, it's hard to write on a shirt. Yes, it's difficult to write on a shirt. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't. What's the best material here, for doing this? I don't know. Here, take that one. Give me that one. Give me the shirt. Dalton, you need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> no. no. All right. So, like, uh, get, get the bonus bonus episode. And yeah. See us throw a little fucking temper tantrum, dude. <laughs> Okay. Okay, here we go. On my own, here we go. All right, so what are we going to talk about while we sign these sign shirts? This Nobody's going to care. This is like the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, the Declaration of Look, in, look, in, maybe, in the maybe recording the signing wasn't the best idea. We could have done this off mic, but yeah. we're, we're in here now. Too late now. Now, now everyone's going to see your megalomania for what it's worth. The slave driver attitude. All right, whatever. Ain't nothing better. Dalton got me signing. No, I like this. <laughs> Swing low. This is good for us. This Here, is good. This Robbie, builds morale. This okay, cool. Yeah, it's good for morale. We should have brought... Uh, we should have brought... No, that one's already been signed. Just by put me? It, put All it right. in the sign pile. All right, cool. We should have brought three we call the Sharpies. Sign the we sign should've, field. We, we should have brought three Sharpies. Yeah, I, did, I wasn't thinking... I had two yeah, Sharpies. Yeah, why are there two a, Sharpies? I did, didn't... <laughs> Put a lot of thought into this. I well, just let's, let's get a black wait, wait. shirt. So you're Robbie telling me this segment one. doesn't have a lot of thought. Put I wanted it. to do something nice. All right, just sign. it's all right, Dalton. It's not your fault. Just sign the shirt. <laughs> it's not your fault. Here, here's another. Oh, it's not one. your fault. You have the silver sharpie. You sign here. Sign okay. that one. Justin I'm gonna, Silver. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign one of these shirts has the N word written on it. One lucky fan. Juggling fucking. The Sharpies and shirts is ridiculous. Did I sign this one? No. Who cares? All right. I got to sign this one. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I feel like we should all sign them. Like one person sign all of them and then pass it. Robbie. Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess. I don't. <laughs> what are we doing? We're signing shirts. <laughs> <laughs> just if it's the only time we do it, I don't care. I just let's sign the shirts. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, maybe guests can pay us and be like, I want one particular person. I don't want <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. For once, I'm glad. Here, Robbie. Sign this one. Oh, thank you. Did I sign this? Oh, no, I didn't sign it. Well, I'm going to need that The sharpie. white one is way better than the black one. All right. Wait, did the design or signing <laughs> it? <laughs> or uh, uh, the design. This one's been signed. Nice. I'm out of here. I got my I got my four done. No, there's more. What? There's like three. Why the fuck would anyone pay for our signature? I don't know, Robbie, but they... Uh, it's like, don't say stuff like that. <laughs> Why? Why would they give us... What, like? They like us. They like the show. Don't it's they, just, they it's a nice thing to do. For folks, if you, wanna, if you want me to sign a, a damn shirt, you just... You just... You just... At, at Joe Gorman. Venmo me. Joe, send like me a eight shirt. people were in my tweets saying that you promised them a free shirt. Did that actually happen? Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe who knows? Oh, you know what? Oh, because I said like, oh, I just said like, yeah, just DM Robbie if you want a free shirt. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you, you say? Rat. I didn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> well, what am I gonna say to that? <laughs> All right, here you go, Robbie. Sign that one. That is that. That's funny. I thought I thought for sure they were gonna DM Dalton. That's funny. That, you know why? Because they were like, oh, well, Robbie's the nice guy, so he'll definitely give me a shirt if I ask him. <laughs> I bet that, I really bet that's it. They're like, Dalton will say no, and Joe won't give me a straight answer. Yeah. Damn. True. Okay. Okay. We got a few more white ones. This one's done. Did Folks, I Did if you want to steal our identities, this is how it looks. These are our signatures. Have they all? Okay, so... That one's been signed. Are there any girls I should have sex with? Yeah, yeah. dude. Your Who, wife. Whoever buys a shirt. Okay, if you buy a shirt, you can have sex with me if you're a woman. That's oh. that's the new uh, rule. Unless you're ugly. In which case, I'll, I'll sign out with you. <laughs> Not sure they really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of like a cool guy. Okay. This one's been signed. All right, we got like three more. And then, and then this boys. nightmare's over. Yes. <laughs> this long national nightmare. It's not that bad. Don, this is the worst five minutes of my yeah, life. Yeah, it is. It is. All right, we don't have to do it again after We this. never will. <laughs> Folks, this is a, these I, shirts I just quadrupled I, I in value. I truly can't believe this is that bad. <laughs> the, these shirts just quadrupled in value because this will never happen again. There will never be another piece of fabric in existence that has all three signatures of the Loud Boys. This is a rare thing right now. Dalton's the only one that's signed with, like, cursive. It makes sense that it's rare because Dalton's having a bad fur day. Why? I don't know. Oh, like Conquer? Yeah, like Conquer. <laughs> the game was produced by Rare. Oh, wait, there are more Sharpies somewhere. What? Yeah, I think there's more Sharpies in there. Well, it's too late it's now. It's almost done. Yeah. Uh, I'll get one. Here. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> What is that? It's a sharpie. Is it black? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, Rob. Sign All right, this one. We can one. double our speed right. now. With, with, it's, not, it's not that fresh, though. Uh-oh. Here, let me see. It. Oh. Like, like uh -oh. Alex's vagina? Hey. Hey, it's not that fresh. <laughs> Don't even joke about Don't that Don't get fresh shit. with our producer, Dalton. I won't. It is not as sharp, but... Uh, oh, well. Figure it out, Rob. It looks fine. Damn, I like how they drew me on this one. <laughs> you look like a fucking, like a 50s. I look like, like Conan. a greaser. I mean, I just look like Conan, to be honest with look, you. Look, man, I But I've always gotten that. Yeah, they've yeah. always said, hey, excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. Mr. <laughs> O'Brien. Oh, I'm sorry. You, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know this was a, a illustrious t shirt guru and concert goer, <laughs> Here, Dalton sign Pruitt. That, sign that one. I thought it was the other king of New York. Conan O'Brien. Was this which one? I need a, I need the black uh, pen. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> right, wait, why'd you sign your name over Robbie's picture on this one? I just signed this shirt in a space. Well, that... I have been always trying to sign it by. Oh, my I image. just was signing. Don't them. worry, Joe. If there's one thing I know about Don, he knows about spaces. I don't think he does. Oh, you're talking about 
You're talking about Twitter spaces. I thought personal spaces. (laughs) (laughs) Well, isn't it kind of a personal space? Is it? I don't know. So is Clubhouse just nothing anymore? It's just Twitter spaces? Here, let me see. the. Check out the spaces tapes, everybody. Or Joe Gorman's Clubhouse on Clubhouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The spaces tapes is good. People like it. They love it, dude. Here, Robbie. Oh, thanks. You know what? This is actually kind of fun. Shh, don't I'm encourage him. Fun. Don't encourage him. <laughs> now that we're done. <laughs> yeah. I you guys made money on this. Barely. All right, then we the won't... amount of the amount of emotional torment that we went through to get it. Well, no. yeah, we won't do this again. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and do it again. It was fun. I, I just we maybe not record it for the show. <laughs> It's funny. I'll to sign them. I, I mean, it, it's like this is the show. I mean, the, the whole dynamic of this show is like just getting mad at each other. But yeah. it's like, yeah. <laughs> well, at least it's not like telling jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry, but I don't want a full meal. Yeah, what dude. I do? I'm gonna I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna eat a little uh, breakfast cereal. I'm gonna do oh, that. That's, that's, that's my fucking move. Especially if you get like a high fiber cereal, it doesn't feel like it's as bad of a cheat. And then you wake up in the morning and take a fat shit. That is nice. Maybe I should uh, eat a slice of like pizza's not that heavy really. It's, not really. It's like 300, 400 calories. A slice, yeah. Health gang, weigh in. A hot dog, that's a good like little thing. Tacos, those are good. Uh oh, accidentally draw a swastika on one of them. <laughs> Wow. What if I drew a little swastika on my head? That'd that would be actually funny. be kind of funny. All right. I'll American do, History I'll do that. XL. I'll draw a little uh, smiley face on my face, my forehead. Aw. That's cute. Aw. <laughs> Did I sign that one? No. Okay. This one's yours. Is it the last one? I nope. think so. Is that, did I sign that one? All right, Dalton? everyone. You got your nice sign. <laughs> that smiley face is horrifying. Uh, all right, everyone. We did it. Yep. That was fun. Yeah, we, all, we all made a hundred. We barely made it through that. We all made 150 no, we, bucks. We're all rich. All right, folks. Thanks for listening to the Spaces Tapes. Thanks for the Spaces Tapes Live at Gas Digital. Mm-hmm. Thanks for buying the shirts, honestly. Thank, thank as you much for, as we complain, yeah. thank you. Yeah, it's it's been an interesting f- experience, but it has been fun and quite a success overall. So, uh, yeah, if you, bought, if you bought a signed shirt... Uh, I'm gonna get these shipped out tomorrow, so th- um, and and for, which is Thursday, yeah, which yeah. is before the show. And let's put this at the out. end of the episode. Honestly, like we should probably have this as a separate thing, maybe on the Patreon. Itself. We don't have to talk about that right now. Thank no, you. we should talk about it no, on we'll the air. Yeah, so, no, folks, we'll talk about it. Mike, Mike. Let us know so in the talk, comments. At the, uh, thanks for listening to the full episode because yeah. this is the end of it. Thank so you. So, if if you want us to release it as its own standalone thing, send a threatening DM to Dalton. If you'd like us to release it as uh, part of the episode, send a threatening message to me and whoever. Fears for their life most is the way we'll go. Okay, thanks. Bye!